Hello and welcome back to Farming with Bud. Today we'll be growing the flashbang potato. Start as usual by clearing a patch of sand. Wait, sand. Today we'll be using sand instead of Mother Earth soil. Next you're obviously wondering how on earth are we going to get a seed for a flashbang. It's quite simple. We'll be using a nail gun blank you find at the local hardware store. Cover your extra loud popcorn kernel with some soil. I mean sand, gosh dang it. Primary ingredient in flash bangs obviously starts with flash. So we will be surrounding the soil with photon emitting LED light bulbs. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. After a trivial amount of time, you should have a very healthy sprout. You can gently inspect the health of the sprout by removing the tuber from the soil. Gently return your tuber of light and wonder why your flashlights haven't ran out of battery yet. Next, if you have the patience of a chihuahua, we can add some fertilizer to speed up the growing process. Gently add some magnesium powder to your flashbang. This is very important in giving a healthy dose of flash to the flashbang. Okay, good grief. I think you're supposed to have more soil than you do fertilizer with plants. Next, with a low temperature heat source, we need to liquefy the fertilizer so that the plant's roots can absorb it. This is taking too long. Anything that's done slow should obviously be better done faster. Let's get this puppy so hot it looks like Heat Miser's Dookie after a Buffalo Wild Wings challenge. Fear not my crestfallen children. As a safety protocol, I press the AZ5 button to prevent this thing from going critical. Next, we need to add the bang to the flash bang. Oh, sweet Ooh. Jesus! They didn't tell me about this one in farming school. Quickly, we need to add more liquid to extinguish the fire. Oh, that did not work. Okay, uh, ladies and male human beings, we are running out of options here. Внимание. Реактор номер 4 перешел в сверхкритическое состояние. Well, that was nothing short of a disaster. Now The weekend is going to be copywriting this video for all those blinding lights. Well, it's too late to go back now. Fight through your third degree burns and mild blindness. We need to grow this flashbang. Continue by returning the rest of the bang to the soil. I mean, sand, gosh darn it. I'm actually not sure what this next step is for, but I see a lot of people outside of Chiba Hut doing this. Monkey see, monkey do. Evolution has clearly forgotten to put a brain in you. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, I'm pretty sure you would have glassed this entire planet by now. Ring ring, Lord of Cinder calling, Age of Fire at my place. After you get done poking the second elephant's foot, it's time to wait and allow time for the flashbang to grow. Spring has sprung, the day, Easter morning, and your human lag button is ready. Or potion of blindness, depending on what dialect you use. We walked on a lot of sunshine to get here, and it's time to feel good. This is how they collect Easter eggs in some parts of the world. Since flashbangs are technically tubers, we can get more of them without having to go through an excruciatingly painful process again. Simply return it to the soil, and simply wait however long it takes your favorite color to spell. Mine's green in this case. Simply pluck the baby bang from the host's parent, and then plant it again. It's really that easy. How about a flashbang trick for the road? Did you know I have an Instagram and a Patreon? Check out my channel for the links. I'd like to thank our first Patreon ace. You are a gym. You rock.